Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ghost Love and Vice Squad, brought to you by the Andromas Fly Company and Fly Life Company, our sponsors. After you watch today's clip, please head over to our awesome online stores at fishingoutdoors.ca or .net for U.S. and international shoppers. Also, after you watch this video, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes. If you're a returning uh, subscriber, then welcome. Today in the Vice, we're going to tie a... Uh, a uh, Mega Prince variation. So, very similar to the Prince Nymph, it's bigger and a little variation of it. Also, we're going to use a hot head on it today. Bring some extra attention to this attractor pattern. So, first in the vise, we're going to put this size 10 R7 Nymph hook there. You got 2x strong and 1x long. And on it, we have a tungsten round bead, metallic orange, 3.2 millimeters, also from Fly Life Company. So we're going to start with our thread. This is a uh, 6 dot. You can definitely get away with an 8 dot wax thread. I like the 6 dot because I know it'll fit on the hook, make that taper a little less laborious. So... Now we're going to start off with this uh, peacock sword. Take some off of right here. And we're going to take, I don't know, uh, five or six different fibers. Make sure they're even. Cut them off of the stem. And then they're going to have a natural curve to them. So you see that obviously they're pointing down at the moment, so we're just gonna flip them upside down. We're gonna get that natural curve going upwards. We want, so you want your tail to be, the tail bias to be about the length of the shaft. I want these a little bit shorter than the tail. So we're just gonna measure it out to about right there. Then, a little bit shorter than that. We're gonna tie it in. Just like that. Then we're gonna cut this off even with where we started the thread. Try not to bulk up around the head yet. And then just bring that down for an even body. Bring your thread back up here. The tail of the fly. We're gonna take Prince Brown Peacock, or not peacock, sorry, goose by it. Peacock on my head. Lots of peacock in this fly, but not this step. Let's take two of them. And we're going to tie them in one at a time. Just longer than the tail. Or not the tail, sorry, this is the tail. Just longer than accent tail, under tail, whatever you want to call it, really. The peacock sword that we tied in. How's that? Also, when we're tying these in, notice that when they come off, they have that natural curvature to them. We want that facing outwards from the hook. We're gonna tie them in on the side. This is our second one. And we get this nice even tail. It's a flashy under tail, whatever we decided to call that. <laughs> Take out these. Once again, we're trying to leave some room behind the bead for the final steps. Now we're going to tie in this extra small white wire. Right along the body here. And while we're back here, we're going to tie in our peacock curl that we will use to wrap the body. While we're at it, we're going to build a slight taper. Just like that. Get a little closer to the head. I'm going to make that taper so big. Oh well, we got lots of extra room now. 
Very brittle material. Looks great on the fly. And when wrapped over with a counter wrap of wire, it's much sturdier than you guys are noticing now. Anyways, wrap your body, catch it with your thread. Lesson learned. Get out the tool that makes it easier first time. Now we're going to counter wrap with this wire. I like the extra small in this case because it doesn't trap as many fibers and doesn't really show through. The little bit that it does show through kind of accents the goose by it's on the top, in my opinion. And it'll make that sturdier so it doesn't break as it did when we were tying it in. Anyways, now you're going to tie in a uh, brown soft tackle. I stripped one side of this one. It's from my Wedding Farms uh, saddle that I got from Fly Life Company. Good selection there. Anyways, we're going to preen those fibers back. Leave this tip. Which we're going to cut off. And that is our tie-in point. The reason I stripped one side is because I don't want this hackle to be too heavy. I want it to be flowy, not uh, stiff in the water, and also to leave lots of room to show the rest of the fly. Now we're just going to wrap back. these fibers back as you go. Just like that. Hold them back as you catch your stem. I like to give the stem a couple more tugs after I tie it in just to make sure it's actually set. Couple more wraps and cut it off. Some more thread wraps behind this bead. When it gets set, also make sure that you're playing with these fibers, it'll get them all uh, unstuck to each other. Put some wraps behind the bead. I like to do this, that way the next goose bites don't flare on us outwards. So now we're gonna pull most of these fibers back down from the nymph. And then we are gonna cut off stuff right at the top. So you get a flush top on the fly. Now we're gonna take white goose biats, which I've talked about a couple of times throughout this video. That's gonna be the finishing touch to make this fly Prince Nymph. Tie in our first one. We want these at an angle. And I want them to get about to the end of the body maybe a little bit farther, but no longer than those uh, peacock swords. Keep it at an angle, two wraps, and then tie in your other one the other direction. One of the hardest part about this fly is to make these last two look correct, look pleasing. In all honesty, it does not matter to the fish. But it does matter, yep, just like that. They'll start to slide on you because they're slippery. Worst comes to worst, you just retime in. Not that big of a deal. Just like that. Snip them off, close as you can get them. 
And then what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna take a red thread, another six hot wax thread. You're gonna take it over top this black, cut off our tag end, and also cut off our black thread which we secured with with the red. And it's gonna give us hot spot to go with our hot head. I think it finishes up the fly very nicely. Has an attractor pattern. Can't go wrong with another hot spot. There we go. Sometimes the first half inch is a little tough. The thread's twisted. Doesn't matter, we got three under there now. Tighten it up, cut it off. And there you have the hot head Mega Prince Min Nymph variation. Size 10. So thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes. Also, check out our awesome online stores at fishingandoutdoors.ca or .net for U.S. and international shoppers. Check out all of our sponsors' gear and so much more outdoor gear. Really great website, really a one-stop shop. Make sure you check it out. And I will see you guys next week. Happy Sunday.